Hello there, it's David Connolly here, welcoming you to another Codeigniter tutorial. Still using the HMVC framework, and uh, this particular video is all about how to give your coding a turbo boost. So I'm hoping that by the end of this video you'll be able to code very quickly, and hopefully you might even double your speed if you follow the simple advice here, okay? Um, so basically, we are working with modules, you'll remember, and uh, we've been playing around with this HMVC test thing, you know. So in the modules folder, I'm going to uh, create a brand new module. And this one, I'm going to call it Copy This. Can you handle that? Copy This, all right. And here is the theory. You know, when you, actually, I need to go in here and make some other things. Hold on a second. So I'm going to make a folder in here. And this would be called Controllers. That's about right. Yep. And then we're going to have another one in here called Models. All right. So here's the idea. You know how when you're using um, models for handling the database, right? The <coughs> I'm sorry. The thought occurred to me recently that actually when you think about databases, you pretty much only do a handful of things with them, you know, over and over again. You do inserts, updates, deletes. You might do a query search for something, you know, where ID equals one or something like that. You might do a query that's like where email equals blah, blah, blah. You might count the amount of rows and you might do some kind of custom query, you know, a table join or something like that. But basically, there's only a handful of things that you do with models. So as you're building up all of these modules, all of these different things, you know, these modules that do different things, why bother retyping all that stuff over and over again? So, wouldn't it make sense if the only thing changing really is just the name of the table? Wouldn't it make sense to just do one uh, model that has all of that stuff in it and the only thing that needs to change is the table? I mean, does that sound kind of cool? I think it sounds kind of cool. Now, I will say, I know that there's... You know, a few of you sons of a guns out there who are using things like Doctrine and what have you to handle databases. And that's fine. I'm not going to mess with you. But what I will say is, I am a commercial web developer. And I'm trying to show people how to be commercial web developers. As soon as you get into all of that database abstraction layer stuff, downloading Doctrine, downloading this, that, the next thing, when you start adding those things on, the amount of people who understand your site, the amount of people who can help you, who can come on board and contribute and help your business grow, well, that number goes down, you see? So that's why I try not to use any of that stuff. So, um, let me show you the vibe. If we go to davidconnolly.com forward slash HMV stuff, HMVC stuff. You'll see links here to all of the videos in this uh, little course so far. And if you go to video 7, you'll see code for the perfect model. Check it out. If I click this, here it is right on the page. Now I'm going to just grab this for you, like so. And it's not really a, you know, a complicated thing. It's all quite simple, you know, and um, I'm just going to copy that. And let me just see, in this models folder, I'm going to go new PHP file, model, I'll call this perfect model. Oh, yes. So here we go. And I'm just going to paste this right on in like so. That's uh, pretty cool, actually. Now, hold on. I think I'm missing a line from the top here, so stay cool. Yep. That's about right. Okay. Yep. Is that cool? Yep, that's cool. Okay. Now, 
check it out. All of the things that you're looking for are here. Look, here's the get, here's the uh, get where, here's our insert update. It's all here and it's all taken from the manual. There's nothing new here. The only thing that changes is this get table thing and you would actually just put your table name in here. Now, there is another way of doing this. Is it, oh gee, is it something like var uh, table equals blah blah? And then inside here, inside one of the functions, you would say, uh, where it says get table, you would do something like this. Okay, you can do that if you want, but I'm just wanting to make this super, super easy. I hope I got that right. And um, I'm just trying to make this easy. Everyone understands what this means, you know. So that's all we're doing here. I'm sure I could indent things and make it, make it look a bit nicer. But basically, it's the perfect model. How cool is that? And it's all on the website, davidconnolly.com forward slash HMVC stuff, actually forward slash perfect model. Now, if you're going to have the perfect model, doesn't it make sense to have the perfect controller as well? So let's head on in here, okay? I'm just going to go new PHP and I'll call this perfect controller, all right. So, uh, just to save time again, man, I'm good to you folks here. I've actually saved some time and I've wrote out some code for the perfect controller. And all this is doing, folks, is it's basically just talking to the perfect model. In other words, it's just database stuff. So look, here's our gets and all of that stuff. It's all here, nice and easy, nothing new. You can handle that, right? Now, I think I've got it all rocking, sorry. Um, I think that's about right, yep. So here's our custom query thing. We just pass a query to it, it'll do the job. All taken from the manual, nothing new, nothing you can't handle. So check it out, folks. A couple of interesting things have happened here. One is, we have just replaced the need to ever worry about models ever again, because we can just open up this and all we have to do is change the name of the table. How cool is that? The other thing is, is we've got the controller stuff ready to rock. So if we ever need to do a table insert, for example, we would just call the insert and it would all work perfectly. Uh, that's pretty much it. The last thing I'll say is, is I've made this folder called copy this. Do you see how I've named it copy this? And whenever you need to do a new module now, you can just copy or you can just duplicate uh, the copy this module, change the names about, and you'll be ready to rock. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.